There was this period, wasn't there, where you can't kill off somebody that everybody likes in the first ep. But Agatha Christie was doing this literally almost a century ago. Yeah, she kind of created the genre as we know it. And that's what's beautiful about this project, I think, because you always feel very kind of comfortable in her world, but she's always 10 steps ahead of you. So you feel very comfortable and the the characters are very witty and charismatic. And then suddenly it takes this sharp turn just when you think you're settled. And the stakes are very high and it becomes incredibly unnerving and that's the joy of reading her books as well when the blood kind of drains from your face. Yeah, I know. She, she's so clever. Have you figured out how she did it yet? Forget who, you know, it's not about her who done it. It's a bit, it's a, for me, it's about how she did her who done it. Oh, um, yeah. Was it and Matthew? every time, and every time something completely new and different. So you think if you've read enough of them, really? then you're like, okay, I'm ahead of this one. I'll get to the, the killer before she does. No, no. You are always two steps behind, my friend. And, you know, I bet you had a riot making this programme. It was so much fun. The, That's why I'm grinning ear to ear every time I get to talk about good, it. Good, good. I'm glad. I'm pleased for you. It was the village near the golf course and the golf course in Wales. Was it all around the same area? Is it that, um, can we go to this one place that's as beautiful as it seems in the whole of this story? Yes, to the golf course, and I will find out where that was. And then we also shot in a little village called Shear which was beautiful, well, she, and that's outside know, of London. I know where she is. So oh, okay. I used to live around the corner. Well, okay. that, that's not in Wales. That's not. I so should have recognised it. So it's half it. in Wales, yeah, oh. half in London. Well, oh. you know, oh, I'm really annoyed with myself. 